What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KFlex. I'm back here with yet another video, and in a absolute turn of events from the last video, okay, a lot Bruh. of shit went wrong this last week. I haven't even got a chance to get into it. I've been hella busy doing a whole bunch of different stuff. I actually went to this game, and actually it was kind of fun. I have a clip that I may put on there. I probably won't put the clip on here just because it'd be too much for me to try to get it from my iPhone. But I actually have a clip from when we scored a touchdown. I actually went, this is my first Dolphins regular season game I ever went to. And I had a good time, but it was a lot of shit in this game that ruined, like, the vibes, okay? But we got a lot to talk about. We're not going to talk about this game as much because it, it's kind of old now. It was all the way last Thursday. But we're going to talk about the what happened in this game a little bit and, and like, as far as what's going on right now. So, real quick, people like this video before they even heard the sentence. I feel like it would be cowardly for me. Like, I made a video for the first three games we won, and then all of a sudden I disappeared. Don't make a video for this game. Listen, we lost. Um, They played better. I ain't going to say if Tua would have stayed in the game, we would have won because we was losing even with Tua in the game. But I was at the game, and it was it was, it was was a lot of people. There 67,000 people there. The most ever at a Bengals game ever in the history, right? A lot of fans, fans. I got to hang out with some Dolphin fans. It was real cool. It was real cool. Uh... <clears throat> I just gonna say like uh, on the play where Tua got injured. This is basically gonna be a Tua injured video because uh, by the way he will be missing the game versus the Jets uh, next week. That's already confirmed. Uh, on the play Tua got injured. I wish he would have threw the ball away. He didn't. It's, things happen, and now it's a whole bunch of shit where you know Dolphins are being attacked through the media because we didn't know we had a concussion and we played him anyways. I it's, it's really stupid honestly because like. Like the doctors cleared him, right? And, and people coming at Mike McDaniel. Mike McDaniel is not his, he's not a doctor. He doesn't have an MD, a medical degree or anything like that. How is he supposed to, you want him to like step out of his boundaries and like try to basically overrule a doctor and be like, hey, yo, you can't come in. It's like, that's that's stupid. Like, why would you expect? So I feel like all this flack, that, uh, the heat the Dolphins are catching is as a result of the, uh, the doctors sucking, right? You can blame whatever. Every doctor that saw Tua, if he did have a, a concussion on Sunday, because they still haven't come out and said that yet, but like everybody's kind of assuming he did. But if he did have an assumption uh, uh, uh concussion, all those doctors can be fired. I could care less, but it's it can't be nobody else's fault but the doctors, you know? Unless like Mike McDaniel literally paid a doctor, which then you're like putting on a tin hat and you're like overthinking everything. But unless like Mike, unless we actually like paid them. To do that, like it can't be anybody's fault but the doctors, to be all the way honest with you. So, um, that that's how I feel about that situation. Uh, for Tua, I feel I, I honestly bad if he did have a concussion, even though some could say it's kind of his. Uh, let me not go there, but like some, like you could say, like okay, then he could have held himself out, but then people like to say, well, it's the spirit of a competitor. So you know, it is what it is. It's everybody, but it can't be Mike McDaniel's fault, right? And it can't be the organization's fault, not Stephen Ross's fault. He can't even be around the team. Like, it can't be nobody's fault but, like, the doctors, honestly. Because, you know, they're, they're going to be the only ones that actually know what Tua has. So, nobody else did blame the doctors. So I see a lot of people want to say the Dolphins not protecting their quarterback. They need to be punished. Why do we need to be punished? Because the doctor cleared them. The, first of all, not even our doctor, even. It's neutral doctors that just work for the NFL. PA, they cleared them, or and they they are now fired. But that's why I assume that Tua did have a concussion on Sunday because they fired the doctor. But let me so so we deserve to get punished because they fucked up. That doesn't make sense. That that's, <laughs> doesn't make sense at all. Like unless you're literally saying that NFL coaches now responsibility is not only to coach a game, play and coach football players, but you also have to be a doctor too at the same time. Like it's, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, not to me at least. Uh, so they actually changed the rules Bruh. a little bit. So that if somebody stumbles like Tua did after he got sacked, um, they will they will no longer be able to uh, return to that game. So the interesting thing is, you know, when he got injured, I was at the game and I didn't really know it was that serious because they wouldn't show the replay on the big board, right? Because obviously they, they don't want us to see that. But I saw him get sacked. I'm like, why did he throw it away? And then I would just remember him, them say, oh, he's laying down, it's hurt. And I'm like, no, bro. But I came to the game to watch Tua, obviously. I didn't come to watch Teddy Bridgewater. And I spent a lot of money on that ticket. <laughs> so I was, I was mad. And then, like, I like I didn't realize the extent of it because I, I was, like, like on the other side of the field, right? So I, like, I saw him laying down, but I was on, like, like, I was, like, on the other side, basically, okay? They, they were 
Lofton's on this side. I was on this side. So I didn't see like his hands or nothing like that. I'm pretty sure he was facing the opposite way. I didn't see that until I got on Twitter after the game. I didn't see his hands. They wouldn't re-show the replay. I knew it was a concussion. I didn't know how serious it was. And then I like I'm just thinking like, oh, he, he's got a concussion. He probably gonna have to come out the game. You know what I'm saying? But then like, I saw them, act, like, I, I just saw him not moving. And, and he just, like, kept not moving, kept not moving. And then at to a point, you're just like, wait, 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 wait. How long is this going to last? And then they, they refused to show the replay. So it's like, wait, wait, is something serious? And next, you know, you see the stretcher coming from across the field. And I'm like, what the f just happened? Like, I thought it was just a regular concussion where you get up, you know, shake cobwebs out and probably have to sit out the game. But then I realized, like, whoa, they're getting a stretcher. And at that point, I didn't know what to really think because, to be honest with you, if it was a concussion, it's terrible. If it wasn't a concussion, it's still bad. So I didn't really even like like when a player has to get stretched out. There is no like good scenario. Like let's say it was because of his neck. Is that better? No. If it was because of his back, is that better? Well, I mean, is it better than a concussion? Possibly, because because people say your brain. I mean, you can't really come back from a brain some brain stuff, but. It's like not that much better. It still is going to be terrible if he's paralyzed because he's back or his neck. So I was like, I don't even know what to be like hoping for right here. Like nothing could be positive. Ended up being another concussion. He ended up flying back or whatever that day. Ended up seemingly being okay. But I just don't like how the Dolphins are getting attacked for this when honestly it's the doc doctor's fault. And if I'm Tua, I'm literally suing the hell out the league and probably retiring. But Tua loves the league too much. He probably won't do that. Me personally, I don't really care for football or to, well, I care about football, but like not if I was playing like that much to be like, oh, I just want to keep playing and Larry quit and then sue the league. Cause like, that's ridiculous. If it, you know, that could really change your whole rest of your life, you know, getting two concussions. If he in fact did get two concussions, I have to make sure you guys know that it's not confirmed that he got two concussions. And now the NFL is kind of trying to move the goalposts where they're trying to say, well, even if he did, didn't have a concussion the first game, we still shouldn't have played him on Thursday. But again, nobody was saying this before the game on Thursday. They, they wasn't calling the Dolphins like, hey, don't play Tua. It was only after he hit his head again and got injured. And it was like, oh, my God, they should have knew better. Why well, Didn't y'all watch the game too, League? Why y'all didn't say that then? Y'all didn't, you know? So, I don't know. Things happen. Everything is different in hindsight. Just like me saying Tua should have threw the ball away. Everything's different in hindsight, man. Like, everything's clearer. Even though I did, I do think he should have threw the ball away even before. Uh, in hindsight, everything's different. You know what I'm saying? And things happen, and you just can't control them. Um, but, mo but moving on, Teddy Bridgewater will be the starting quarterback against the Jets. Skylar Thompson got moved up, and we signed Reed Sennett. Sennett, I mean. Uh, so, Skylar Dickens will be back up, probably. Reed Sennett will be the third string, and Teddy Bridgewater will be starting. I do think we can beat the Jets with Teddy, but I'm not guaranteeing anything because he is our backup quarterback, and the Jets have Zach Wilson back. So I think it'll be a good game. I think it'll be close, but I'm, I I can't guarantee us a win. I think if Tool was going to play, I, I would be like, I wouldn't guarantee us a win, but like I think it would have, well, I know we'd have a lot better chance. But, uh, we still got a good chance with Teddy Bridgewater and hopefully Teddy Bridgewater with a week of practicing with the ones and, you know, really being able to work over a week because we played Thursday, he will look a lot better than he looked on on uh, last week, right? So, uh, I guess the bank. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the video. I mean, uh, I, I feel like a coward not making a video on the back. But really, I just didn't have the time because I, after I got home from the game, it was already freaking midnight and I have work the next day. You know, I have... You know things to do so i didn't get to make a video but i should have you know made a video as soon as i like probably friday evening i should have made a video i don't know why i didn't but uh yeah that's that's pretty much it man but i was actually actually at this game i got to meet a lot of dolphin fans it was honestly a good game up until Tua got injured and then it was still okay uh but it just got sad once that you realize like what happened to Tua. you're like man this game actually was a disaster um but yeah, Teddy Bridgewater will be starting. Hopefully, we get Byron Jones and Xavier Howard back. I will be making a video later this week on that. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole concussion thing with Tua. What you guys think about the Bengals game, if you guys even still care to talk about it. Like, comment, subscribe, hotel, levitate. This is Rebecca Flexion. I'm out.